Go love your own enemies. Don't be loving mine. My enemies are the theocratic fascists. I, I don't love them. I want to destroy them. Child, made in the image of God. Oh no, you're not. You're a faggot. And you can't join your church and you can't go to heaven. This is disgraceful. It's inhuman. Are you a patriot? Do you believe in national security for this country? Do you would you defend this country? and what it stands for to protect our freedoms. See, I am a patriot. And what Donald Trump has just done has my blood boiling. I am furious. I am angry. I am outraged. And if you are a patriot, you should also be outraged right now because he has stepped over the line and he is now a criminal and he belongs in jail right now. Donald Trump has just, just now, today is July 27, 2016, he has just now committed treason against the United States or at the very least he has committed sedition against the United States. This is fucking serious. He has just invited a foreign government to commit espionage against the United States. Are you a patriot? If you are, and most Republicans will say, yes, 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 I am, I am. You should be pissed off. You should be outraged too. This man is dangerous, and he has no business at the helm of this country. This is just the beginning of the kind of things this piece of shit will do once he is president of this country. He has no filters, he has no grasp of reality, and he honestly could give a flying rat's ass about national security or what is right and what is wrong. All that he cares about is furthering his own ends, his own selfish ambitions. He is a power monger and he's evil. This is a very evil person. I see a bully. I see the same mannerisms and the same way of speaking as my brother who was a bully. This is a bully who thinks that being rich and being rude enough and having a big enough mouth is all it takes to run this country. And now he has shot off his mouth and actually invited a foreign government to commit espionage against the United States of America. This fucker belongs in jail right now. The article. Donald Trump invites Russia to hack Hillary Clinton's emails. Before I read this, I invite you to watch my video that I did yesterday and the article that I read yesterday. And there's also a link that I posted under that video if you don't want to listen to the video. Pointing out that probably Donald Trump's emails or any any emails, <laughs> behind the scenes emails in a political election probably have some stuff in them that would be really juicy gossip for the media to put out. This is an election. Elections are dishonest. Elections can be fixed. It's a great article. Read it. Here we have Trump basically pointing out his opponent calling the kettle black. 
what does his emails look like? Considering he has no filters whatsoever, I think they would probably be far more interesting to read than Hillary Clinton's emails. Okay, now I will read the article by this describing what this piece of shit has done. Again, he belongs in jail. Oh, and by the way, I just woke up. I don't have a voice really yet. I haven't had my coffee. I just woke up. I'm so angry. <laughs> I couldn't wait to put this email together or this email. See? <laughs> Errors. Error. I don't care. I'm not even going to splice it. I'm just going to read it. I'm just so angry. So this is a very rough video. I just needed to get this out. ASAP. People need to know ASAP that if they are supporting this man, they are supporting a traitor who has committed sedition against this country and belongs in jail. Donald Trump dared. I don't. Did I read the headline? I think I did, but I'll read it again. Donald Trump invites Russia to hack Hillary Clinton's emails. Donald Trump dared a foreign government to commit espionage on the U.S. to hurt his rival on Wednesday, smashing yet another taboo in American political discourse and behavior. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you'll be able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing he said, referring to deleted emails from the private account Hillary Clinton used as Secretary of State. I think you'll probably, probably be rewarded mightily by our press. Trump made the remarks at a lengthy and unusual news conference in Doral, Florida, in which he also said NATO is outdated, told a reporter to be quiet, and said the reason that the Democratic National Committee was hacked was because foreign leaders do not respect the U.S. He also called President Obama the most ignorant president in our history, alleged that Russian leader Vladimir Putin had disparaged Obama with the N-word and inaccurately paraphrased Obama speaking in a stereotype of African-American dialect. He viewed his views of the world as he says don't jive, Trump said. The comments urging Russia to hack the State Department immediately drew widespread attention because they lend to the impression that Trump is actively encouraging another country to use cyber warfare against the U.S. to affect the presidential election. If the emails are hacked and Trump wins, it also could make him appear beholden to foreign interests. If Russia or China or any other country any other country has those emails, I've got to be honest with you, I'd love to see them, he said later, declining to back down. Exers, experts suggest that Russian agents are behind the hack and release of Democratic officials' emails last week that showed officials discussing ways to undermine Bernie Sanders' primary campaign against Clinton. Trump often has praised Putin and is claimed to have met him, but on Wednesday he denied that they have met. He also denied multiple media reports that he is in debt to Russian lenders. Again, I encourage you to go to my video that I put up yesterday and at least look at the link to the article that I posted yesterday because it also makes a very valid point about the timing of Russia to bring, it, bring to light those, those emails about Bernie Sanders. Uh, it seems from that that Russia wants Trump to win too. They weren't so worried about Bernie Sanders, but they don't particularly like Hillary Clinton. But they do like Trump. I think this is another reason to be a little bit concerned about the idea of Trump running our country.